welcome back oh my gosh it seems like it's been forever and i'm so glad to be back with you guys doing another chapter from comfort and encouragement we're in book two and we're on chapter four for god's glory it says I find myself considering as a reminder that there is nothing that is hidden from God. He is aware of the very secret questionings of our heart. Why didn't God answer? God spoke to us in his written word an amazing revelation in reference to the anger that we might feel when someone who we love sleeps in death. He gave us a glimpse into a situation where one became very angry over the death of her loved one. I would like to share with you what was dropped into my spirit as a word of encouragement as I considered this biblical account at this time. It is found in the Bible book of John chapter 11. It is the story of Jesus' friend Lazarus who had become very sick. The sisters had sent word to Jesus that the one he loved was sick with the expectation that Jesus would perform one of his miraculous healings on their brother. They were disciples of Jesus and believed that he could heal Lazarus because they were aware that Jesus had performed many miracles of healing and restoration on others. Jesus even demonstrated that he didn't have to be present to heal, that he could simply speak the word and a sickness would leave a person where they were at. The sisters of Lazarus believed strongly in Jesus. So when he did not heal their brother in answer to their requests and their brother died, one of the sisters was very angry. Read with me from John chapter 11, starting at verse 1. John chapter 11, the New International Version, regarding the death of Lazarus says, Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, one of you, Lord, the one you love is sick. Excuse me for that mistake. When he heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. Jesus purposely did not speak the word of healing for Lazarus. Instead, what he said was that the sickness would not end in death. And the truth of the matter is that even though Lazarus did die, the end of the matter was not death. Jesus purposely stayed behind two extra days. He had a reason that was for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. The purpose was not initially understood by the friends and family of Lazarus, but afterwards they learned a valuable lesson. The lesson in this event is that delay is not a denial. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given to him. The um, statement right above the area where you can write how you feel says, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I need help understanding some things. Can we talk? And so we're going to end here and let you uh, just talk to the Lord about whatever's on your heart. All right.